In this video, we're going to quickly go over the code from the last video. Um, the first line is pretty easy to understand. ASMPRGM just tells the calculators an assembly program. But and then it starts getting a bit harder. This is basically machine code, but instead of binary, it's in hexadecimal. And you know, in binary, every eight characters makes up one byte. But in hexadecimal, every two characters makes up one byte. So every two characters here is significant. That's why every line has an even number of hexadecimal um, values, because they're all paired with something. So here we have 21. What does 21 mean? Well, first you need uh, the Zetazop code reference chart. I'll put this in the description. You need to download this to be able to code. If you look at 21, 2, 1. 2, 1 is load LD HL comma star star. Um, you need, if you have basic Z80 understanding, you'll know exactly what this means. If you don't, you won't. But this is basically saying load into the HL register two bytes. That's what the stars mean. Um, the uh, registers are basically little things in your computer. You can temporarily store data. Um, every register can store one byte, but if you pair them with another one, you can store two bytes. Um, and here we have the H and the L register put together as the HL register, and it stores two bytes. And so we're going to say load into the HL register two bytes. And so that's what 21 means. 21 says we're loading into the HL register two bytes, and the following two bytes are 9F, 9D. And how this calculator works, because how this um, it's how it's built, it works a bit backwards, meaning it doesn't load 9F, 9D into the HL register. It loads 9D, 9F. It's a bit backwards. And so 21 9F, 9D says we're going to load 9D, 9F into the HL register. So now. 99F is stored into the HL register. Now we have EF. EF is a B call. This says we're going um, to call in some code already written for us. And it, and here I'll put this in the description. Um, the B calls. Um, if you click system calls by address. Wait for it to load. Hold up. I th think my internet might be down. Let's reconnect be called by address and if you scroll down to if you scroll down to put s as you can see it's 450a that's the address of that b call and if you look ef 450a because remember i said it's backwards so that's saying we're going to do the put s b call but what is the put s b call well if we open up the put s b call it is displays a string on the screen in the large font but what string its input is the HL register a zero terminated string so what we did was we loaded into HL the address of the zero terminated string down here if you look up our ASCII chart um, you can see that a capital H is a 48 a lowercase i is a 69 an exclamation mark is a 21 and a and so you can see here 48, 69, 21, 0, 0 because it's a zero terminated string. Um, string basically means text. 3 is a number, 7 is a number, this is a string. String is just text. So this 48, 69, 21 is basically um, an H, an I, an exclamation mark, and then a 0, 0 which is the terminated string. So what we loaded into the HL register is 9D9F. That is the address of the string. All all bytes in the um, RAM have an address and so the address of this string right here is 99.5 but how did we get that address well all programs are 99F not 99.5 all programs start at 99.5 meaning the address of this 21 is 99.5 whatever byte is at the very beginning of your program its address is 99.5 so how do we know that the address of this is 99F? Well, all you have to do is count. Um, so what I'm going to load up is my calculator, and you can take a ca any calculator. I'm quite sure Windows has this too. If you click View, you can change it to Programming, and you should have a calculator that looks similar to this. Switch it to hexadecimal and type in 9D95. Then what we're going to do is go here and we're going to count. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten bytes um, from the start of the program to our string, and so if we 
write 99.5, convert it to decimal, and add 10, and then convert it back to hex. As you can see, you get 9F9D. That is the address of this string, 9F9D. And so now we know that this B call, um, 450A is put S. It says we're going to display the string in the HL register. It goes to the HL register and has this address stored in 99.5, um, which we stored in it with 21 here. And then it goes to that address, 99.5, which is here, and it displays H I exclamation mark and then it stops because there's a zero zero there. It's a zero terminated string. Okay, so now since we know what that does, what does this do? Well it's EF, so it's another B call. B call four five two E. What is that? B call four five two E is new line. This is pretty easy to understand. Um move cursor to the beginning of the next line and scroll the display if necessary. Basically it skips the line. You want to put this after you display any string. Just skip a line. This is the new line. And then C9. This is the last thing we need to know what it does. What is C9? If you go to our opcode reference chart, C9 is the RET. This is RET. This is return. Since we're not doing any calls right now, just basically C9 here ends our program. You always want to end your program or else what it's going to do, it's it's not going to end. It's going to try to execute this 48. Then it's going to try to execute the 69. This is 21. Then this is 00. And then it's going to keep on going through all your RAM and executing all the values stored in your RAM. It's going to crash your calculator. So you always need to end your program somewhere. And this C9 ends the program. It tells it to return. So that's basically the explanation for this. It may be hard to understand, but it makes a lot more sense if you have any um, Z80 assembly experience.